In this video, I will show you how to install an emulator for Dungeon Defender so that you can get four times the loot with four characters. From my guide or a different link, you will go to one of these pages. So it's either this post by Watt um, or ASIN's guide in the split screen section, or it's on the original forums as well. The Dungeon Defender forums is posted here as well. You will download one of these xinput13 DLL files. Doesn't really matter which one you download. So from here, you will cut and paste it into your Dungeon Defenders folder. So the easiest way to get there is to click on Steam Library, type in Dungeon Defenders, and right click this, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and Browse Local Files. Now you go to the binary Win32, and you paste the file in here. From here, you will need to go back to into the UDK game config folder because you're going to need to edit the hotkeys for your other characters that you're going to be using since you have four of them now. So in here, we will scroll down to the Xbox S B. Doesn't really matter which one of these keys you set, although this one is the, the recommended one that you change. So instead of doing these commands, we're going to do um, activate crystal. If you have any issues after if you typoed or something in here or you just deleted the whole thing and messed it up, you're going to have to verify your files and re-download it. So you would just delete this file, the config file, go to properties and verify integrity of game files afterwards if you have any issues. So assuming we did everything right, we will uh, start up the game and for some reason this X input uh, locks up the game for a little bit on my, my computer. You configure, you go to graphic sound, make sure you have full screen set. You can change this afterwards but you have to have it set when you start the game. And then you will hit save and close this. And we'll double check in here really quickly that it has the activate crystal. It does. Okay, so in order to make sure that it doesn't overwrite all of this information, we will set it to read only. It will give us an error later, but we'll make sure that at the very least it doesn't overwrite anything. So we start up the game again. Press configure. Still gives us that error. Uh, we will go to here, make sure full screen is set again, um, and then we'll hit the launch button. This is the error that you should get when it can't edit the file. That's okay though. So the game is booting up now. So from here, you'll select your first character with your mouse and keyboard. Uh, you'll still be playing with your mouse and keyboard for the other two, but um, so you can set um, and load different characters in here, like this. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a sec. But um, technically, you you don't have to do it from here. So we'll start and load into a game itself. So we already have two characters, but in order to do this, in order to, to load characters in, you will press F1 through 4, so F2 loaded the other character, F3 will load the third character, you press F3, then O is the start button for your gamepad. That's how you load in another character. You use WASD to move around in here to load your next character. You'll hit spacebar to select it, I believe that's A on the gamepad. Then you'll hit F4, load another character, 
depending on if you want to play with four. You can play with three because then you get more uh, screen space on your, your first character. But we'll load in all four to get more loot. So you'll load in your fourth character by hitting F4, then O again. WASD to find the character, hit spacebar to load it in. And in order to get uh, windowed mode again, you will hit Alt, Enter. And then you can press Escape to, well, first of all, to get back to our original character, we play F, or press F1 so that you can use your mouse and keyboard to play on this character. When you load in a map, you will have an issue if you didn't set your config file um, to make it so that you can activate the crystal to start the game on those other characters. That's why we edited the UDK any input file. So you'll press F2 to select your other character. So that, that'll be your second character. You'll press M to start and then F3, M, F4, M, and that will set the, um, that's basically pressing G on the keyboard, which you'll press F1 again, and then in order to use the, or to activate the crystal, you press G, and that's how you start the game. So in order to get rid of these characters, You'll obviously go back to press F2, F3, and F4. And then you will press Escape and WASD and, and Spacebar in order to leave the game. And that's how you get rid of the characters as well. So F3, and then you hit Escape, and then WASD to leave the game. And hit Yes. Same with number four. This There's one other thing I have to say. Um, so loading back in player two, we'll press O. Do not hit the right mouse button because it is the right trigger, which is the delete hero button. Uh, it won't delete it right away, I don't think, but it is risky to click with your mouse and hit the delete button when you're loading in another character. Just a warning. And uh, hope this guide was helpful and good luck on all the loot.